Hi, welcome to Walker Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up this Hutu wireless IP camera. And before I even plug this in, I'm going to first install the applications that came on the CD. So first I'm going to insert a CD into my CD drive, plug into the computer. It's loading up now. So inside the CD, it comes with installation videos already. It has the IP camera client, mobile player, user manuals, and more importantly, what I'm after right now is a setup wizard. So I'm going to first execute this. And now just simply follow the instructions that's in his install shield. I'm going to do a complete install. Okay, installation is completed. Now I see this IP camera finder icon on my desktop. Let me minimize this file explorer here. And next is I'm just going to run this IP camera finder. And since this is the first time I'm setting this up on my, on my network here, I'm going to choose the wizard mode. I have two options. I can either have the Hutu wireless IP camera plugged into my router or I can connect it to my computer and set up that way. But since I have a router nearby, I'm just going to plug into the router. So at this point, I'm going to plug in the power and also the Ethernet cable. So now once I plug in the Ethernet cable, the Network LED lights are blinking on the upper right and upper left corners here. The Hutu itself, the red LED light came on, and soon it will do a scan of the room. So while this is panning, I'm just going to hit next. Okay, so now it detected this IP camera on a certain IP and detected that this is the MPEG model. I'm going to select it on the camera list and click next. So here I can have basically everything pre-filled out for me. So I'm going to choose the, the defaults right now. Later on, I might go back and come in, come back in here and change the IP address because for a static IP address, using an 8 is a bit low. But for simplicity, I'm just going to keep it the way it is. So I'm going to click on the one key setup. Once I do that, it'll say set successfully. I hear a little click coming from the camera. And now I believe that all the settings has been saved onto the camera. And now the camera is just going to reboot by itself again. So now that everything's done, I'm just going to hit close. So now to connect to the IP camera, I'm just going to launch Firefox. I'm going to put in the address I specified previously. 192.168.1.8. So now it's asking me for my user ID and password. Since this is the first time I'm setting this up, the default user ID and password is admin for user ID and nothing for password. So I'm going to choose the push server mode since I'm using Firefox. Oh, so now everything's viewable. This is a 0.3 megapixel sensor, so it's not HD, but it is pretty good. For the next step, I'll need to add the wireless connection information to this device right here. Currently, it's still Ethernet cable is still plugged in. So to add this information before I can unplug the cable, let me first go into the network, then choose the wireless LAN setting. Here, just scan for my, my wireless network. If you can't find it through a scan, you can always just check this box and enter it manually. If your first scan doesn't come up, it's okay, just keep clicking it. It will come up eventually. So here's my network. Now I just need to put in a password. Once I hit submit, it will save the settings to the, this camera, this Hutu IP camera. Then it will reboot again. Okay, now that the camera's back, I'm going to head back to the live video. It's me right there. So next thing I'm going to do, just simply unplug this Ethernet cable. 
The picture will freeze, but the wires will kick in. It took about 30 seconds or so, but now the wires kicked in. The Ethernet cable is still not plugged in. And the only cable, the only cord that's plugged in now is just a power cord. It took a little longer than mo what most people are patient enough to wait for, but it does work. Now that everything's set up, let's take a closer look at the live view on the web computer's web browser. So here I can choose my resolutions. If I left it at 640 by 480, the frame rate is 15 frames per second. I can set it to a lower resolution, so now it's at 30 frames per second. Or I can even set it even lower, now it's going to be much faster. So I'm going to set it back to 640 by 480. I can also adjust the light mode, 50 hertz, 60 hertz, outdoor. Increase the brightness if I wanted to. Contrast. Set everything back to default. Uh, let's see. Set preset, preset positions. Recall the positions. Vertical patrol. Just pans up and down. Horizontal patrol. Switched on. Stop vertical patrol. Stop horizontal patrol. And then switched off. So now let me just demonstrate some of these buttons here. So I can pan diagonally if I want to, go to the left. And everything here, the speed of the pan, that can all be adjusted. Let me go right. And what's also good is that when I'm panning, the motor noise, it's not that audible. I say that I'm not home, I'm controlling the camera remotely, and I just want to recenter it. I can just basically press this button right here, and I'll do a pan, tilt, and scan the whole room, then revert back to the center. Now, before I get into anything else, one important thing I need to touch upon is the default user ID is admin for user ID, blank for password. What I would recommend is to quickly go inside your user settings here and put in a password for admin. Set it to anything you want, essentially. Like, uh, let's see, let's hit submit. And you can also create sub-accounts too, if you wanted. No, do not remember my password. The most important thing to change is the user ID, of course, for security reasons. Next, you'll want to add it to your wireless network. We went through that too. Now, if you're going to use this Hutu wireless IP camera for something like a baby monitor, you'll probably want to turn off this red LED light. To turn off this red LED light, head to System, and head to the indicator setting. Here it says that, okay, this blinking is because network is connected. Or there's other drop downs options for this. To use a baby, as a baby monitor, what I will recommend is to set it to always off. And once you hit submit, that blinking LED light is turned off now. Thanks for watching the setup of this Hutu wireless IP camera. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.